Good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Emily, and I'm a library assistant at Greenville Public Library, and this is for story time. So to get started, we're gonna do our intro song, which is Shake Your Sillies Out. We do some shaking, we do some clapping, twisting, stretching, and some shaking again. Okay, are you guys ready? We're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake, shake, Shake our sillies out, shake, shake, shake our sillies out, shake all our sillies away. We're gonna clap, clap, clap our sillies out, clap, clap, clap our sillies out, clap, clap, clap our sillies out, clap all our sillies away. We're gonna twist, twist, twist our sillies out, twist, twist, twist our sillies out, twist, twist. Twist our sillies out, twist all our sillies away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our sillies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our sillies out. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our sillies out. Stretch all our sillies away. And then we're gonna shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake our sillies out, shake all our sillies away. Good job, you guys. You know I love that song and you do such a good job. So today's theme is, what could it be? It is robot. I'm trying to do the robot dance. I'm not very good at it, but we are gonna get to that later. But let's get started with the book. Robot Zot, and this is written by John Sieska and it's and David Shannon. It's with permission from Simon Schuster Publishing. So I hope you guys like this little robot Zot. Robot Zot, wham bot. Robot Zot, bam bot. Ooh, very destructive robot. No one stop Robot Zot. Robot Zot crush a lot. Robot Zot strikes. He crashes his attack ship into the heart of the dangerous Earth army. Zot howls his brave battle cry. Robot Zot never fall. Robot Zot conquer all. Look at Robot Zot, he's in someone's kitchen, I think. So there he is with his other little robot accomplish, uh, accomplice. Okay, <gasps> look at where Robot Zot is now. Zot leaps to the attack. <gasps> he's gonna attack, which one? The blender, the coffee pot, the egg beater? I don't know. Take that, beep Zot. Beeps Zot and that. Beeps Zot. <gasps> Zot defeats them all. Every one. Affirmative. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zot challenges Earth shiny captain. You are looking at Zot, tough guy. Zot blasts the captain. The captain blasts back. Then blows a fuse. Robot Zot, hot bot. Zot scans the battlefield. He is glorious. He stands victorious. Ah, oh, do you see? He's fighting the toaster. <laughs> but then, from the upper level of the earth, fortress, a foul challenge rings forth. Is your breath not smelling as fresh as you would like? You say what, Beep Zot? Prepare to battle! Maybe you should try lemon mint fresh. <laughs> Maybe you should shut transmission, sender, growls Warlot Zot. Zot fights his way through the coils of another earth monster to get at the insulting enemy. 
He was listening to the radio or watching TV, and that's what he could hear. Zach challenges his gigantic foe. Aha, says Robot Zach, who is talking large now. One quick spritz in the morning. Stop transmission. Dr. Robot Zot will wham your butt. And you are good for... Do you see he keeps watching commercials on the television? He thinks it's someone challenging him. <laughs> oh my goodness. He blew it up. Can you see? <gasps> Zot was not joking. Zot is never joking. Don't challenge a robot. He'll blow you up. Zot blasts into another bunker, and there he sees her. The most amazing earth person ever. Zat knows that she is the queen of all earth. Bring, bring, rings the queen. What, asks Zat, earth queen held captive, needs Zat help to, to escape. For the first time ever, Zat feels something more than war in his machinery. Oh, I think Zat's in love with the telephone. <laughs> Mama growls the evil guard on her left. Dada warns the scary sentry on her right. Zat freezes. Even Zat is scared. Zat says what he has never said. Wow, even Zat is scared. Maybe leave? Just go home now? Mission over? <gasps> bring, bring, rings the queen. The terrible guards fall on her. Wait, what is Zat? Chicken butt? No, he booms. Zat must be hero butt. Robot Zot does not fall. Robot Zot conquers all. Lion-hearted Robot Zot rescues his queen. They blast and shoot and wham and bam and battle their way back to Zot's ship. Zot sings his victory song. No one can stop Robot Zot. No one except... <gasps> Who could it be? Oh no, it's a dog. Earth's most fearsome commander general. And there he stands, right between Zot and his queen. And their attack ship. Stand back, cries brave Zot. Woof, answers the dreadful general. Zot means business. Woof, woof, the general insists. The queen blinks. It looks like all is lost. No, beeps Zot. Zot computes a fantastic plan. The plan is, um, well, er, uh, Zot will stay in flight. Qu Queen and best pal bot will escape to safeness. Zot strikes his most intergalactically magnificent pose. Remember Zot. Hero bot. Woof, woof, roars the horrible general. Zot booms his last most gallant battle cry. Hero Zot, never fall. Hero Zot conquers all. Yike, cries the commander general and he disappears once again. Zot is victorious! Robot Zot, brave bot. Robot Zot, hero bot. And so, Robot Zot and his queen zoom off to distant galaxies to bravely save more days. Wham bot, always Robot Zot. The end! I hope you guys liked it. That was Robot Zat. Oh, what a cute one. Okay, so with our theme of robots, we are going to do a couple songs. 
where we get to pretend to be robots. Are you guys excited? I love robots. So here to help us is my little robot friend. I'm gonna just put him on the wall. Hopefully he sticks. So the first song that we are gonna do is a song that's to the tune of Wheels on the Bus. We did this last week. So I hope you guys remember how it goes. We are gonna first say the legs of the robot go up and down. So they go up and down. I'm gonna demonstrate on here because you guys can't see my legs, they're too low. But you guys can lift up your legs and put them down at home, okay? Hope you guys are ready. The legs of the robot go up and down, up and down, up and down. The legs of the robot go up and down all day long. Good job. Okay, so the next, we are gonna say the head goes side to side, side to side. So you guys can go side to side. Are you guys ready? The head of the robot goes side to side, side to side, side to side. The head of the robot goes side to side all day long. Okay, next, we're gonna say the arms of the robot, so these right here, go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So back and forth, back and forth. Okay, are you ready? The arms of the robot go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The arms of the robot go back and forth all day long. Good job, you guys, you're doing so well. Okay, so next we are going to say the voice of the robot says, does not compute, does not compute, does not compute. Can you guys do a robot voice like that? You have to sound really neutral and sound like this. So maybe you should practice. Are you guys practicing? Practice your robot voice. So remember, the voice of the robot says, does not compute. Ready? The voice of the robot says, does not compute, does not compute, does not compute. The voice of the robot says, does, does not compute all day long. Woo, that's a little tricky. I don't know if you guys have any problem with it at home. Okay, so next we are gonna say the lights of the robot flash on and off. So we don't have any lights on this guy, but we're gonna pretend like our hands are lights and they go like this on and off, on and off. They're gonna flash on and off. Are you guys ready? The lights of the robot flash on and off, on and off, on and off. The lights of the robot flash on and off all day long. Oh, good job. You guys did so well. So we're gonna just keep our little robot friend up here because we're gonna do another one and he'll just be hanging out back there. But the next song we're gonna do is I'm a little teapot short and stout, but instead I'm gonna change up the words. So you guys just follow my actions, right? I'll say the words and you guys just follow what I'm doing. So, I'm a little teapot, short and strong. Here's my antennae, just switch me on. Dancing super fast till my battery runs low. Then I shut down there. If you guys caught that so we're doing some switching lights on we're doing the robot i hope you guys got to practice it we'll do it we'll do it a couple more times just in case you weren't ready okay so i'm a little robot short and strong here's my antennae just switch me on dancing super fast till my battery runs low then i shut down there Slow. Oh, good job! Okay, should we do it one more time? I think we should. Usually we just do it two times, but we're gonna do it three times. Are you ready? I'm a little robot, short and strong. Here's my antennae, just switch me on. Just start dancing till my battery runs low. Then I shut down 
called Love Z and it is written and illustrated by Jesse Seema and it's with permission from Simon & Schuster Publishing that we're gonna read it today. So I hope you guys like it. On a bright, chilly day, Z went out looking for adventure and stumbled upon a piece of half-buried treasure. Can you see? There's a little bottle with some treasure inside. What could it be? What could be inside? Inside was a message. Too smudgy to read, except for two words at the very bottom. The young robot did not know what love meant or who Beatrice, Beatrice was, but they felt important. Yeah, so do you see on the note, it says love Beatrice. So Z, tucked the treasure away and headed toward home. As night fell, all the robots prepared to power down and recharge for the next day. Z asked for a bedtime story and a nighty light and a good night kiss. Mwah! Ha! Tucked snugly in bed, Z's thoughts drifted back to the important treasure. What, what is love? Asked the young robot. Does not compute, replied the old rusty robots. Then they said, sweet dreams, and turned out the lights. Alone in the dark, Z could not sleep. The other robots had always been able to answer Z's questions. They did not know what love meant. Who would? I don't know. Maybe there was one person. Let's see. In the morning, Z went out looking for Beatrice. Hello, I am looking for Beatrice, exclaimed Z. I want to know what love is, and she will have the answer. That sounds important, said the captain. Climb aboard and we'll go on a quest. So they did. Oh, how friendly. Unsure of how to start a quest, Z asked around. Excuse me, are you Beatrice? Are you Beatrice? Hello, are you Beatrice? No, said a voice. What's a Beatrice? So do you see, he's asking the beaver, then he asked the turtle, and then he asked the scarecrow. We are on a quest to find out what love is, explained Z, and Beatrice will have the answer. I don't know any Beatrice, said the crow, but to me, love is sharing your food even when it's delicious. Aw, oh, do you see the bird sharing her food with her little baby? That did not compute. But Z thanked the crow anyway and changed course toward a place with delicious food. The breadboard. So the baker did not know Beatrice either, but she was happy to share what love meant to her. Love is when someone is patient and takes the time to teach you new things. Oh, that did not compute. But Z thanked the baker anyway and changed course toward a place with teachers. The kids at recess had a lot of thoughts about what love meant. Love is butterflies. Love is sweaters. Love is wishing on a star. Love is a million puppies. Love is snowflakes on my tongue. Ah! <laughs> Absolutely none of them computed, 
But Z thanked the students anyway and had no idea what to, to go in search of. Hmm. What if they never found Beatrice? Oh no! What if love was something a robot could just not compute? Hmm. Z was about to suggest that they change course toward home when they stumbled upon a good place to spend the night. Hello, we are on a quest. Oh, never mind. Hello, I'm Beatrice, said the woman. <gasps> Z could not believe their luck. Oh, they found Beatrice. What were you doing out there in the cold? Asked Beatrice. Looking for you, Z explained. I want to know what love is. And I thought you would have the answer. Beatrice paused to think. She thought. And thought. And thought some more. What do you see? She fakes while she's thinking here. And then she plays some chess while she's thinking. And she's dancing and listening to some music while she's thinking. Love is difficult to explain. It's warm and cozy and safe. You'll know it when you feel it. Z hoped she was right. It's getting late, said Beatrice. Let's get some rest. The young robot was preparing to power down and recharge for the very next day when the old rusty robots arrived unannounced. <gasps> Z, you were gone. We were worried. Oh. But we found you. Yay, we found Z. We brought your favorite bedtime story Aw, right there. And your night light, right there. And a good night kiss. Mwah! Tucked snugly in bed, Z felt warm and cozy and safe. It was a feeling the young robot had felt many times before. But now it had a name. Love Z. Aww. The end. So a robot found out what love was. Aww, that's really nice. So that was Love Z. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So we do have a curbside craft today. It is available at Greendale Public Library at 1030 and 330. While supplies last, one per child. And it's the little that I was using to demonstrate today during the songs. So if you want to make this little cute robot, you can color it however you want. We just go to Greendale Public Library today, okay? That's it. We're going to say goodbye now. So our goodbye song, it's in sign language. I'll show you quick what we do. We wave goodbye like this. Then we say friends in sign language. You make two friends and you have them hug. Then you say time in sign language. You take your finger and you tap your wrist like there's a watch. Then you, we're gonna say say, and you tap your chin like this for say. Are you guys ready? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye, bye. No, we're gonna do it one more time. Are you ready? Goodbye friends, Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye.